Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my Southampton vs Chelsea preview for the game which will be taking place later on today at the St Mary's Stadium in the Premier League with kickoff at 2pm UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly I'll be giving you guys the team news concerning both sides and as always I'll be starting off with the team news concerning the home side which in this case will be Southampton. I'll then be giving you guys my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you. I'll also be giving you guys my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do in order to get a good result against Southampton later on today. And finally, I'll be giving you guys my score prediction along with Charlie Nicholas's score prediction and some of Google's probabilities. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So kicking things off, with the Southampton team news, there are two stories concerning the Southampton first team. And the first one is to do with Cedric Suarez, and that is that he will be unavailable for Southampton due to a calf problem in which he picked up against Tottenham Hotspur last week. And the second story concerning the Southampton first team is to do with Musa Gianepo, if that's how you pronounce his name. I do apologise if my pronunciation is incorrect or if my pronunciations are incorrect throughout this video. But yes, um, Musa Gianepo. I'll just say that for now, will we'll also be sidelined um, as he has a hip problem. So that is it for the Southampton team news. Now, getting straight into the Chelsea team news now, there's only one story concerning the Chelsea first team, and you guys can probably guess who it's to do with. It's to do with Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Emerson Palmieri, Antonio Rudiger, and Marco Van Hinkle. What an addition that is. He's always injured. And even if he wasn't, it's not like he was going to play anyway. But yes, um, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Emerson Palmieri, Antonio Rudiger and Marco Van Hinkle will all be out for today's match. So that is it for the team news. Now in terms of my lineup, um, I've actually gone with a 4 3, 3 in terms of the formation. And in terms of the personnel in which I've gone with, I've gone with Kepa and Goal. I've gone with a back four from right to left of Cesar Asprocata, Kurt Zuma, Bekeo Tomori and Marcos Alonso. I've gone with a midfield three of Jorginho, N'Golo Kante and Mateo Kovacic. And I've gone with a front three from right to left of Callum Hudson-Odoi, Tammy Abraham and Mason Mount. So that is the lineup that I've gone with. I know that some of you may have wanted Christian Pulisic to start, but after what Frank Lampard came out and said, I do not think that he will start. I'm not even, I'm not even sure if he'll be on the bench, but um, hopefully he's in the lineup soon. As in, hopefully he's in the in the in the squad soon because I think that Christian Pulisic has shown some promise. But yes, that is the lineup that I've gone with. Let me know if you agree with it or disagree with it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll do my best to respond. But now moving straight on to the four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Southampton later on today. And by the way, I do apologise if I'm moving the camera a lot. I'm using my tablet. It's a lot harder to control than my phone is. But yes. The first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Southampton later on today is that they need to stop the ball from getting to Danny Ings. He is, he is without a doubt their danger man. He has scored quite a few goals in some of their recent games. Last week he got the equaliser against Tottenham Hotspur and to be honest Southampton overall they played pretty well in that game and that game wasn't televised but I did see um, the highlights and, and I did hear from, from a few Tottenham Hotspur fans that they, they weren't that good, as in Tottenham Hotspur weren't that good in the game against Southampton, and Southampton were good in the game against Tottenham Hotspur. I hope I didn't confuse you guys with that little bit of, um, with that little bit of um, speech, I guess. But yes, the first thing in which I believe the um, ch the Chelsea first team need to do against Southampton is that they need to stop the ball from getting to Danny Ings because if we don't and if, if we allow him any sort of space as well, then he'll definitely hurt us. Um, the second thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team most definitely need to do against Southampton later on today is that they need to remain calm and composed in the sense that we cannot afford to give away any cheap fouls because you, you all know how, how, how bad we are at defending from... Um, we, all, we all know how bad um, we are at defending set pieces. Um, in our game against Lille on Wednesday... Um, they, they, they weren't really that threatening, let's be honest. They didn't really create too many chances. Um, but in, in, in a way, you can say the same about us. Um, but I do think we've created more than them. But what I'm trying to say, or what I was going to say, is that we did concede from a set piece. It came from our 
their goal came from a corner and we just weren't marking properly. We were we did employ a zonal marking system in that game and we we've been employing zonal marking um, systems throughout throughout the course of the season so far. And we just don't seem to, to attack the ball whenever whenever the cross whenever the crosses come in. And that is something that you just cannot do. Whenever that ball comes into the box, you have to attack it. So that is exactly why I believe that we need to remain calm and composed. The third thing, you're all going to get sick of me saying this, but the third thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team needs to do against Southampton later on today is that they need to be clinical. And this is, in a way, an elaboration on my first point. I think that if we're not clinical or if we're not clinical enough, then we can get punished by players like Danny Ings and Co. But the fourth and final thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Southampton later on today, and this is also in a way an elaboration on the first point I made in this section of this preview, and it is that we need to mark key players out of the game. James Ward-Prowse, Danny Ings, the list goes on. We need to mark all of them out of the game because if we don't and if we give them space to attack, they will cause us trouble. But those are the four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Southampton later on today. Now getting straight into the last section of this preview, which is of course the prediction section. And starting off with Charlie Nicholas's score prediction, he has actually gone with a 1-1 draw. And the reason why he has done so is because he believes that this is another good test for Southampton, who were decent against Tottenham Hotspur last weekend. Mason Mount and Tammy Abraham ha have been praised, and rightly so. Abraham has earned his um, first England call-up, rightly so too. Chelsea are sitting in seventh, which is acceptable. It is tight at the moment. It will be a it will be a season full of ups and downs for the Blues, and with lots of games coming up for, for their youngsters, it may just um, take its toll on, on occasions. So that is exactly why Charlie Nicholas has gone over one one draw. Now moving straight on to Google's probabilities, and by the way, these are Google's prob these are Google's probabilities at the time of recording. They have gone over twenty four percent chance of a Southampton victory, a twenty three percent chance of a draw, and a fifty three percent chance of a Chelsea victory. Is that harsh on Southampton? Maybe, but Google do clearly believe that Chelsea are the favourites for today's match. Now to conclude this preview, I'm going to give you guys my score prediction. And I've actually gone with a 3-1 Chelsea win. And the reason why I've done so is because I do think that this will be a hard game. Southampton will most likely cause us problems. They do have some talented players in their team. And they did get a win against their um, their fiercest rivals, Portsmouth, away from home as well. So that could that could help them get um that could help the players or that could um inspire the players to to go out and do whatever they can on the pitch. Because, of course, it's not guaranteed that either side will get a good result in this match. But yes, um, Southampton, they have been pretty decent this season so far. And they have caused some, some teams trouble. So I would not be surprised if they did the same to us. However, I do think that Chelsea's youngsters in particular are playing well at the moment. Tammy Abraham has gotten quite a few goals in his last few games, which is good. And he's put in some excellent performances as well. The same can be said about Mason Mount. And... We've also got Callum Hudson and Doyle back. Ingolo Kante is back fit, or he should be back fit, anyways. We've um ne we've nearly got our full squad back, so that could help us um get get uh, um get a result in today's match as well. But yes, that is exactly why I've gone with a three one Chelsea win. I hope that little passage of speech made sense. I do apologize if it didn't. I'm tired. But yes, I've gone with a free one Chelsea win. Let me know what your score predictions are in the comment section below. And as always, I'll do my best to respond. But that is the end of this preview. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you very soon for some more videos. Come on, you blues. Come on, Frank Lampard. Please go to the St. Mary Stadium and get those nice, sexy free points. And peace.